What's up everybody, how are you doing? In today's video, I want to show you how I shoot dark and moody boudoir photos. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy our journey so far. As you probably already know, my name is Patrick and I'm a boudoir and nude photographer based in Vienna, Austria. Tip number one, choose the right outfit. To shoot dark and moody boudoir photos and still be able to show the beautiful curves and form of your client's body, you need to be aware of the shadows and highlights. To be more specific, you need the skin of your client to reflect the lights in order to create those stunning highlights, which define the body. That's why I choose outfits that show more skin. For example, a beautiful bra instead of a top or a shirt, or a g-string instead of a regular panty. Tip number two, the light setup. In order to create these stunning dark and moody photos, you need to use a specific light setup. By setting up a triangle between you, your model and your light source, you create those beautiful highlights and shadows on her body. The more extreme the triangle becomes, the stronger the effect and the higher the contrast in the final image. Tip number three, posing and angles. Be creative and experiment with different poses, different angles and different heights. Shoot some standing poses. Position her next to the couch or place her in bed. Shoot up or down on her or try some poses where you are on the same height. Tip number four, expressions. A dark and moody light setup is an amazing way to shoot the form and curves of her body, but not the best way to shoot portraits or her face. That's why I always tell my clients to turn the head away from the camera and to close their eyes and open them out slightly. Tip number five, retouching. When it comes to editing dark and moody images, I try to have a very consistent and efficient workflow. As you probably already know, I edit all my photos in Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom is not a sponsor of this video and I don't receive any money, but I wouldn't mind. I do use my regular color and black and white presets to get my preferred and recognizable image look, but instead of balancing out the brightness and contrast of the image, I try to increase the contrast and lower the overall brightness. And here is a little extra tip. Don't just increase the blacks. You get a way better and more aesthetic and smoother result if you decrease the shadows. How about you? Do you like dark and moody images and how is your workflow retouching them? Just let me know and leave me a short message in the comments. And if you like even more on this topic, if you like more information on dark and moody images or if you're into behind the scenes videos, if you like to see more exclusive and uncensored content we create with our stunning models, you'll find the link to our Patreon account in the description. There we share even more content, talk in detail about shooting and retouching boudoir photos and of course the business side of our work. So let's get started. It's your turn. Go out and create stunning boudoir and nude photos.